Hello friends, welcome to the today's online session. In today's online session, we will be discussing some of the important multiple choice questions as far as the online exams are considered. Uh, today's topic for the discussion is nothing but the fluid mechanics and uh, within this fluid mechanics we will be discussing some of the important MCQs from the viscosity, uh, fluids viscosity's point of view. Uh, before actually starting with the main content of the uh, MCQs, uh, let me first of all thank all our viewers for your uh, continuous support towards our channel. Uh, for the last two lectures, uh, tremendous response has been uh, given by the students and the colleagues. I first of all would like to thank all those members for sharing our channel and in future also I request all of you to, the, uh, to share the channel with the students and the uh, community of the students and colleagues which, who wish to learn the uh, fundamental concepts of the physics. So let us start with our today's session with some of the important MCQs. So the first MCQ for the today's discussion is the SI unit of coefficient of viscosity is the uh, options which are given are these first one is poise then second one is times second per centimeter square third option is Newton second per centimeter last option is D option it is Newton second per meter square. Now coefficient of viscosity is uh, this topic we have already discussed in our uh, online lectures as well. So before actually uh, going to this one let me just brush up you some of the important things which we have discussed in our theory lectures. All of us know that if liquid is flowing the force between the two adjacent layers it is directly proportional to the area of the layer and it is directly proportional to the velocity gradient between the two layers. Okay, So F is directly proportional to A area into uh, velocity gradient that is dv by dx. If I remove this proportionality sign I will get F is equal to eta times A into dv by dx. Here in this case this eta is called as the coefficient of viscosity. This eta is called as the coefficient of viscosity. If I rearrange this equation for the eta, this dx is divided on this side. If I transfer from this side to this side, if I transfer this dx from this side to this side, it will multiply and this dv, if I transfer from this side to this side, it will get dy. Okay. So, uh, you can rearrange this equation in the rearranged equation, you can uh, find I had written over here. So, the rearranged equation is this eta is equal to f into dx divided by a into dv. Okay. Now unit I need to find out the SI unit of this quantity. I know that force is measured in terms of newtons in SI system. dx is the distance so it will be measured in terms of meters. Area it is measured in terms of meter square and the velocity it will be measured in terms of meter square second. And now what we will do uh, this uh, meter square and this uh, we will retain as it is this meter we will cancel with this meter okay so these two will get cancelled so on the numerator you will get newton only and on at the denominator you will get meter square and here per second if you further rearrange this equation this per second if you transfer to the numerator this will become newton second upon meter square so the SI unit if you want to see then uh, this will be Newton second per meter square. So the option for this first question it is the option D Newton second per meter square. Okay. Now we will move ahead with the second multiple choice question that is nothing but the dimension of coefficient of viscosity R and the options are given below. Okay. These are the four options. Now, as we had seen our in our earlier MCQ, uh, force between the two adjacent layers, it is given by this. From this one, we can calculate the uh, formula for the eta that will be coefficient of viscosity and unit of eta. Now, instead of uh, SI unit, I will now try to write down the units in terms of the fundamental units. I know that force is nothing but the mass into acceleration. Okay, and force mass into acceleration mass is measured in terms of kilogram 
mass is measured in terms of kilogram so i had written over here kilogram Ma acceleration it will be acceleration it will be measured in terms of meter per second square so it will be kilogram meter per second square that is a si unit of force which we call it as an newton now dx dx is a distance which will be measured in terms of meter so meter i had written area it will be measured in terms of meter square and velocity it will be meter per second okay now we will further simplify this one we will cancel this meter and with this meter so these two will cancel each other so what you will get with the final unit it is kilogram per meter because in this this meter will cancel with this square this meter will get cancelled with this square so at the denominator you have meter if i transfer this meter to the numerator it will be per meter or meter raised to minus one or this second raised to minus two and this second raised to minus one one will get cancelling amongst them so you will get kilogram per meter per second so if i wish to write down it in terms of the fundamental unit kilograms uh, is a fundamental unit of mass so i had written m raised to 1 meter is a fundamental unit of length so l raised to minus 1 and second raised to minus that is time raised to minus 1 so the uh, dimensions of these quantities are m1 l minus 1 t minus 2 this will be the, your answer option number b i'll request all the students uh, that uh, whenever uh, such a kind of questions will be there try to derive the dimensions whenever it will be asked in the question now the next question for the discussion it is pressure energy per unit mass of the liquid is given by pressure energy per unit mass of the liquid is given by these are the different uh, options that are given p by rho p by m p and p by v now uh, we can solve this question by two different methods first of all let me tell you the what is the first method uh, now see the pressure uh, energy per unit mass we need to calculate so first of all let me define let me tell you that we know that pressure is nothing but the force upon area so from this one we can calculate pressure is equal to here pressure is nothing but the force upon area from this one if i want to calculate the value of force i can transfer this area from this side to this side it will get multiplied so force is nothing but the pressure into area now what we know that energy and work done they have the same dimension okay work done and energy they have the same dimension i know the formula for the work done that is nothing but the force into displacement but what is force force is nothing but the pressure into area so instead of f i can substitute the value of pressure into area and then i can write down this dx so w is nothing but pressure into area into x pressure into area into x that will be the work done now uh, but we know that this area into x that is a into x if i have a certain area some height it will be given then it is nothing but the volume so a into x is nothing but the volume and density we know that density is a mass upon volume so in this case let us say mass is m and volume is ax so density it will be m by ax from this one if i transfer this volume from this side to this side it will get multiplied to this density so mass is equal to density into volume mass is equal to density into volume so it is density symbol is rho and volume symbol is ax okay now energy is nothing but the work done okay energy and work done they have the same dimensions or they have the same formula okay so pressure energy is equal to work done and which is equal to p into ax now what i need to calculate is pressure energy per unit mass i need to calculate so i'll just divide the second equation by the first equation pressure energy i'll divide with the mass so pressure energy per unit mass so pressure energy we have calculated that is pax and mass we have divide uh, obtained that is rho ax okay and uh, mass which will be rho ax now this ax this ax they will cancel each other so finally we will get an expression of p by rho 
okay so if you carefully look at that the options then it will be b by rho which is the answer so the uh, answer for this question is option number a okay now we'll move to the uh, with the second question but uh, how differently we can solve this problem in this case what you have to do is that you have to you have to determine the dimensions of each quantity okay or units of uh, each options and this i have worked it out for the first options let us say uh, we need to calculate the uh, unit of pressure energy per unit mass uh, pressure energy per unit mass that is nothing but the work upon mass work is nothing but the force into displacement divided mass so it is force is measured in terms of newton displacement is measured in terms of meter and mass is measured in terms of kilogram okay so pressure energy per unit mass it is having a si unit newton meter per kg now what we will do we will try to calculate the uh, units of each quantity now first option it is pressure upon rho p upon rho so we know that pressure is equal to force upon area rho is equal to mass upon volume i'll just substitute it in this one p upon rho it will be p into this rho i can rewrite as an p i can rewrite as an 1 uh, p p by rho i can rewrite as an p into 1 by rho pressure is nothing but the force upon area and this one upon rho as it is this one upon rho as it is now see what we will do next uh, this value of 1 upon rho it is v upon m value of rho it 1 upon rho it is v upon m okay so if i want to calculate the unit of p by rho means i need to calculate the unit of force upon area into unit of volume upon mass so it is force is measured in terms of newton area is measured in terms of meter square this will be the quantity force is measured in terms of meter force is measured in terms of newton area is measured in terms of meter square so it is newton per meter square volume it is measured in terms of meter cube volume is measured in terms of meter cube and mass is measured in terms of kilogram okay so it is m square and this m cube will get cancelled so your final answer it will be newton meter upon kilogram which is same as the unit of pressure energy per unit mass so in this case also you are getting the same answer this way also you can try to solve this problem okay now we'll move to the next question the next question is the equation for continuity for a gas may be written as the equation of continuity for a gas we know that it is a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 it's a straight forward question so it is option number a okay next question is on which of these following option is the continuity equation based oh, first uh, option is work energy theorem second option is law of conservation of energy third option is conservation of mass uh, fourth option is conservation of momentum so uh, here in this case we have to find out on which principle or which option continuity equation is based we know that for a continuity equation amount of liquid entering from one point it will be equal to amount of liquid going to the point uh, another point okay so it will be a uh, amount of liquid which is conserved that is nothing but the law of conservation of uh, mass okay so uh, option for this question it is option number c now question number 6 in which of the following conditions can bernoulli's equation not be used okay number 1 viscous flow number b option incompressible fluid option c in steady flow option d laminar flow now we know the mathematical expression for the bernoulli's equation that is p plus 1 half rho v square plus rho g h is equal to constant means it's a pressure energy potential energy and kinetic energy sum of all these it will be always constant and the, uh, the statement for the bernoulli's equation it is for a steady incompressible non viscous and streamlined flow of a liquid total energy per unit volume remains constant now Uh, this equation it is applicable to steady incompressible non viscous non viscous and streamlined flow okay what it has been asked to us in which of the following conditions can bernoulli's equations not be used 
okay in steady flow it is used in incompressible fluid it is used non viscous fluid so it is viscous fluid which is given over here so the answer for this question is bernoulli's equation cannot be used for a viscous flow okay so option number a is the correct answer for this question now next question it is in bernoulli's theorem which of the following is conserved a linear momentum b angular momentum c mass d energy bernoulli's theorem we know that it's a sum of potential energy plus kinetic energy plus pressure energy is equal to constant so it is a law of, law of conservation of energy which you can say so in this case it's the energy which is remaining conserved so Uh, for this one we can say that option number d is the correct answer option number d it's a energy now next question it is option 8th uh, question usually the range of uh, reynolds number for streamlined flow usually the range of reynolds number for streamlined flow is we had seen this in the theory that reynolds numbers it can have values between the 1000 and uh, 3000 so option c is the correct option for this one uh, 1000 less than r less than 3000 now next question it is venturi meter device based on bernoulli's principle is used to measure venturi meter is a device based on the bernoulli's principle it is used to measure so these are the different options surface tension obviously Uh, surface tension does not have to do anything with the venturi meter so that is a wrong option rate of flow of fluid that is one thing which you can think about it is related to the fluid option c heartbeat of human being no that is not a option and then viscosity of fluid uh, that is also not the correct option so option b that is rate of flow of fluid is used to uh, is calculated for a gear fluids by using the venturi meter so option b is the correct answer okay now next some applications of fluids such as petrol in cleaning at the mobile shops or oil as an lubricant in engine are used on the account of its surface tension then viscosity then elasticity and weight okay all of us know that oil in uh, engines or petrol in mobile shops it is used depending upon its viscosity uh, for any cleaning purpose we need to have a uh, liquid which has a low viscosity so that it can easily spread okay and it can be easily used for the uh, cleaning purpose so in this case the correct option it is i feel it is the viscosity of the uh, fluid which is used for the uh different applications okay so the op correct option for this question is option number b now uh, this was uh, all about the multiple choice session from the uh, topic fluid mechanics i hope you people have understood the new uh, multiple choice question which you have uh, discussed in that session i request everyone to please share the videos and uh, Uh, these multiple choice questions uh, uh, for those people who are preparing for the various online exams due to the pandemic situation so many people are not able to attend the colleges and uh, regular lectures due to the network connectivity issue as well you can share these lectures with those people uh, that's it for the today's session we'll stop here for the today's lecture thank you